This is the Bertel Thorvaldsen's famous carving of a dying lion. It is found in a small park just off the lower plots. The carving commemorates the hundreds of Swiss guards who were massacred in 1792 during the French Revolution when an armed mob stormed the Tuesday's palace in Paris. This is the center plaza of Lucerne city. Lucerne is a city in the north central Switzerland in the German speaking portion of that country. Lucerne is the capital of the canton of Lucerne and the capital of the district of the same name with a population of about 76,200 people Lucerne is the most populous city in the central Switzerland and an excess of transportation telecommunication and uh, government of this region the city's urban area consists of 17 cities and towns located in three different cantons with an overall population of about 2,50,000 people. Now we are inside a mall selling cuckoo clocks and other watches. What you are seeing in the front is the railway station of Lucerne and uh, this is the main post office. There is a bri wide bridge and what you are seeing at a distance is the Capel Brook or Chapel Bridge. It is a wooden bridge. We will see the inside later. This is a new bridge constructed in parallel to the old Capel Brook. This is a view of the Lucerne Lake. <coughs> Since the city straddles the Reus River, where it drains the lake, it has a number of bridges. The most famous is the Capel Bridge or Chapel Bridge, a 204 meter long wooden covered bridge originally built in 1333, the oldest covered bridge in Europe, although much of it had to be replaced after a fire on August 18th, 1993, allegedly caused by a discarded cigarette. Partway across the bridge runs by the octagonal water tower, a fortification from the 13th century. Inside the bridge are a series of paintings from the 17th century depicting events from Lucerne's history. The bridge with its tower is the city's most famous landmark. Old Town Lucerne is located just north of the Rius River and still has several fine half timber structures with painted fronts. Remnants of old town walls exist on the hill above Lucerne, complete with eight tall watchtowers. An additional gated tower sits at the base of the hill on the banks of the Rios River. 
the twin needle towers of the church of Saint Leodgar which was named after the city's patron saint sits on a hill just above the lake front originally built in 735 the present structure was erected in 1633 in the late renaissance style however the towers are surviving remnants of an earlier structure the interior is richly decorated the church is popularly called the hofkirch the swiss museum of transport is a large and comprehensive museum exhibiting all forms of transport including locomotives automobiles ships and aircraft it is to be found beside the lake in the northern section of the city the culture and convention center beside the lake in the center of the city was designed by jean novel the center has one of the world's leading concert halls with acoustics by russell johnson now you can have a clear view of the needle church the best way to explore the lucerne's is through a cruise in the lake of lucerne we can see most important buildings on either side of this lake i could also see so many swans in the lake this is a needle church Thank mm-hmm. you.